Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'da habdatillah something all of us will meet and have to face is death. No one escapes death. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Kullu nafsin mawt. Every soul shall taste death. And so that's why the dunya as the Salaf al used to say, is the Dar al-Amal. A dunya Dar al-Amal. Wal-Akhirata, Wal-Akhira, Dar al-Jaza. That this life is the time for doing good deeds. And the hereafter is the time for reaping the reward of those good deeds. Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu narrated that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam said Remember often the destroyer of pleasures and of course this means death Ahabatifillah no doubt that what the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said is haq. What the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said is haq. La yantaq an al hawa. He Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam did not speak from his desires. And so since the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, remember often the destroyer of pleasures, then that means that that is a prophetic command and prophetic advice. And that it must be followed. And no doubt the one who wishes success will follow it. And that's the shan or the affair of the mu'min. And so the Prophet Wasallam said that death or that the destroyer of pleasures should be rem- remembered often, which refers to death. Because there is no doubt that there is nothing that takes you away from your enjoyment and from your beloved ones and from all the various ways in which we enjoy this life and our desires than death. Death is the destroyer of pleasures. And if we reflect on how much we crave life and cling to life we'll see that we often fall short in that because we're always planning and assuming it's not negative to plan but it's to assume that you have more time that you have more time to indulge in pleasures and especially that which is impermissible that which is haram Those, and that's why death is the destroyer of pleasures. Because while we assume and while we indulge and engage in our pleasures, and sometimes that in that which is Muharram, 
death can overtake us and destroy all of those desires, all of those plans, all of those ambitions, and all of that which we crave in a moment's notice. Kullu nafsin da'ikatul maut. Every soul will test death. Every soul will taste death. And so prepare yourself, Ahabatifillah. As we mentioned in the narration of the Salaf al Saleh, prepare yourself as a dunya dar al amal. Wal akhira dar al jaza. That this life is the time to prepare. This is your time. Because death will come to you. So prepare yourself. Do good deeds now. Don't hesitate. Don't procrastinate to give, to smile, to reconcile from the problems or issues you have with someone, another believer, or a family member, or near of kin. Get your relationship straight right now with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And in the hereafter, you'll receive the reward and the benefit. That's the time when you'll reap the good of what you did. Because you don't want to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on evil. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. And bless us to be of those who meet him on khair wa sunnah and with a qalbun salim a healthy righteous heart wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam